Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shay from The Sleepless Planner and today I wanted to share with you guys what's in my bag. Um, this is kind of selfish because I really love watching videos of what's in people's bags. <laughs> so um, on the off chance that you actually enjoy those videos as well, I decided to share what's in my bag. Let's just get right into it. There's one pocket with a zipper right here and that is where I keep all of my feminine stuff. I just keep it there out of the way so that if when I don't need it, I don't need to be shuffling around through it. And then next to that in this pocket, I'm just double checking that I'm in frame. This pocket is where I keep my creative on the go supplies. And I like to keep these things in here because Usually when I pick my daughter up from school, we stay in the schoolyard for her to play with some friends and for my son to run around as well, um, sometimes up to an hour. So, you know, they get plenty of playtime. And while they're playing, so long as they're in my um, sight, then um, I will usually, you know, sketch or draw or um, sometimes even paint. The painting is a little harder because then I have to bring like a little thing of water, but you know, you do what you do. Right, so let's take the contents of that pocket out. Um, here we go. And this is what we have. So my headphones were there because it's a mess and I just keep them in this bag because um, I hate tangled headphones. So just a little headphones. Then I have this um, Windsor and Newton. Um, it's a pocket. Um, I'll link it. I, I don't remember exactly the name, but I'll link it below. And it's basically, you know, just a pocket watercolor set. I'm sure there are others. Oh, I just keep on ruining my nails like I just took a chunk off. Um, I'm sure there are others that are, I don't know, better quality, better range of colors, whatever the case may be. But I'm still fairly new at watercoloring, so I'm experimenting and trying new things. And I just love that this is small enough that I can um, just carry it easily. Typically, what I'll do is bring my water brush. I don't like to take things out of the house that I'm going to really grieve if I lose them or if I something happens to them. So not that I don't like Windsor & Newton, but of all my palettes, I'm willing to lose that one. Then I've got um, two pens <laughs> and one of one of the reasons is um, I like to ink on the go with a ballpoint pen because it doesn't really require that much drying. It's waterproof, it's easy and you know it's cheap so it's fine. But the second reason is because when I go to the post office, I mean I either have all the pens or I have none of the pens and when I don't have pens no one wants to share with me what I'm not okay with is being caught out there without a pen. So that's why we have two, two pens. And I recommend that you do it too. The post office without a pen is so annoying. Then I have a mini bullet journal, if you will. And I don't really use her, it's a she, I don't really use her for planning. Um, sometimes I will like to get an idea of, of certain spreads. I'll, I'll kind of play around with it or if I need it, like this for a particular reason. Um, I feel like I did some planning because of a trip that we took to New York. And um, I don't know what it in my pocket, but it usually it's more about journaling and, you know, just, you know, getting some thoughts out. So this was our trip to New York and I logged that. And it's kind of like a busy book for when I'm like on the train or something like that. Then it's good to have. Then I have my, my pocket art journal which I made myself. And this is an image that is printed um, as a die cut. This is one of my girls um, that I drew. And this is another girl that I drew. And this is just, if you saw the flip through of my journals, then you've already seen this, but it's just basically the art journal that is always in my purse so that I can play around and be creative on the go. And then I keep a mechanical pencil because I don't have to worry about breaking the point of a regular pencil. And this one is really nice and lightweight. It's by Pentel and um, it's a 0.7, so it's really nice. And then this furry goodness is from my friend Anna and she made this for me. Both she and I are 
very much texture loving gals she a little bit more than me <laughs> but no but I I'm pretty much on the same playing field with her so she made me this tiny little traveler's notebook situation and she had the nerve to put it for two inserts could you just like like the extraness the level of extra I just need to make another booklet so that I can have um my two inserts there because I'm on the same level of extra I use this because when I make my um, art journal inserts, I use Tomoe River paper and it's pricey paper. So the scraps that are left over, I make these tiny little journals, if you will, and I use them to test out my colors. So like when you're mixing a color and you're, you're looking for a certain tone or certain shade, then I use these papers to test out whether I'm at the color that I want. So you can see that like I did a lot of testing before I reached the color that I wanted. And um, it's also a great way to see how things will react to the paper that's in my journal without putting it in the journal so that I don't potentially have terrible bleed through or stuff like that. In hindsight though, I kind of like these weird um, blobs of color and I think I might go back and actually create like mini art in here. So I don't know, stay tuned for that. We'll see what happens. But it's very useful and functional and I always have it with me when I'm watercoloring. So that's that pocket. On to the next. All right, this pocket is just kind of like a catch-all pocket. And so we have more headphones because just like the pens, being outside of the house without headphones is a nightmare because picking up calls with children is, it's nearly impossible. Um, this um, phone stand that I got um, from my husband's job and you just put the phone right there and it stands up, it's easy to carry. This is where the headphones are supposed to be in some double mint gum which always makes me think of my mom because growing up as a kid in the 80s my mom this is like her signature gum so I have that in my pocket some napkins because kids so if I ever get napkins extra then I keep them my sunglasses classic all right and then we have um this little pouch and it's kind of like a first aid situation so I've got an actual first aid kit because kids and some Advil, um, uh, kind of like a lip tint, another lip tint, chapstick, um, lotion. And then I've got, of course, my wallet. Got this at Nordstrom years ago. I adore this wallet. It's just so like nice and, and it looks super expensive. Um, and it's got really good sections. It's, it's the bomb. I've been using that for quite a few years let's see what else hand sanitizer and that is garbage and anything else nope so now front pocket i try to keep things that i kind of need you know to have like handy and typically um my son's epi pen would be right here my son has um some food allergies um but it's currently with my husband because he took them out so that i can film tissue kids Boogies, constant. My keys with my little Buddha. And um, this is my Hello Kitty mirror. And it's a, not only a great mirror, but it's so cute. And that's it, guys. That is what is in my bag. I hope that you found this video to be entertaining. And I really would love to know if there is um, anything in your bag that we have in common. I think that wallet, keys, and phone would be obvious, so those don't count. So that's it guys, I'll see you next time, bye.